Hi there, my name is Mitchell and in this short video I'll configure single sign-on between Aruba Central, our cloud management platform, and Microsoft Azure Active Directory. In Aruba Central we're managing the different regions EMEA, APEC and US for the customer SD branch and we want to tie that together with the Azure Active Directory. For example, the administrator should have access to all the groups and the help desk should only have access to the regions EMEA and APEC since they're also located in EMEA. This is our clean Aruba Central account. We'll change from monitoring and reports app to the global settings. And here we'll start the configuration with single sign-on. If you need some additional help with single sign-on or looking for documentation, you can click the chat button over here, click on documentation and search for single sign-on, SSO. Here you have all the resources that you need to configure SAML SSO for Aruba Central with your applications. Heading back to the Aruba Central account again, head over to single sign-on and define our domain name, stbranch.nl. In order to add the SAML profile, we can either set the settings manually or we can make an export from the Azure Active Directory as a metadata file and upload it over here. This is something that we'll do as this is much easier. I'll minimize the screen for a second. And here we have the Microsoft Azure portal. Navigating to the Azure Active Directory and then Enterprise Applications. And we will define a new enterprise application for the single sign-on. Aruba Central is not predefined in the gallery, so we will create a non-gallery application. We'll call it Aruba Central. And click on Add. Please note that this might take a while. So now that the application has been added, we'll head over to Single Sign-On and click on SAML. And we need some basic information over here, but first we'll just download the Federation Metadata XML. We'll minimize this screen, head over to our Aruba Central screen again. And this is basically the file that we downloaded it. I'll just click on the metadata file and drag and drop it. Here sure enough we can see the information pre-appended and just click on save. And we hit an error message saying that we first need an account with the domain name stbranch.nl. So we'll do that first. Head over to users and roles and this is because I only have the user mitchell.pompa at hpe.com. I'll create a new user for this. Mitchell at stbranch. Done now. Make it as an admin user. And now this account will receive an invitation to, to add the account into Aruba Central. And we will need to fill in some data. And after I've done that, um, we will be able to add the single sign-on metadata file. So I'll go to the email over here and click on register your account. And based on that registration, we will be able to head over to the single sign-on page and upload our metadata file. So now that we have our user over here, we'll click on single sign-on, add stbranch.nl at the SAML profile and upload the file that we've downloaded earlier on. Put this over here and click on save. And now we see that the SAML profile is added. If we click on show metadata, we have the option to download another metadata file. So it's all about the metadata files. We'll just download this and we'll minimize it again. Heading over to our screen here, we'll click on the upload metadata file and drag and drop the file that we've just downloaded. Click on add and over here we get the successful screen. And there is some information that we can append such as the logout URL if we head over to the XML file and open that with a text editor, search for logout. This is basically the URL that we want to copy for 
sanitizing this is the URL add it over here click on save and by now we have our basic single sign-on configuration set up we'll just close this window and we'll validate this later on because there are still some additional attributes that we will need to add as well and these attributes can be found in the manual so I'll minimize this screen head over to the second tab that we had over here and click on configuring service provider metadata and what you see over here is the metadata that we need to add to the customer uh, accounts so what I'll do is I'll create an administrator and a help desk group to give differentiated access to Aruba Central so we'll head over to user and groups so to provide differentiated access we'll create two additional groups one for the help desk group and one for the administrators uh, head over to the Azure Active Directory groups and then create new group we'll call it central admin and we will assign a few accounts to that so the member of this will be central user central at sdbranch.nl but we will also add central help desk and we'll use the help desk at sdbranch.nl we'll add that particular user help desk so these are accounts that I've already created in the X directory. So these are the groups that we're going to use for the SAML authentication. We have central admin and central help desk over here. We'll go to the enterprise applications where we will assign in the Aruba central application, the group. So click on add user and here you can either specify individual users or groups and it will make more sense to use groups instead of individual users so now that we have added these groups we'll head over to the single sign-on and click on user attributes and claims and we will need to provide some additional information in order to let central know which access to provide for these particular users we'll click on add new claim and this is basically the information that we're going to add so what's really important is the customer id so we'll call this the we'll just paste that over here and we have the claim condition and we'll say that any user of these particular groups admin and help desk will have the attribute value of the customer id so the customer id that's something that you can find if you head over to aruba central close click on this information and just copy this value and paste it over here click on save oh, so paste it in and just click this over here we'll pen these quotes based on that you can save it so this value is the same for both groups but if we're going to add the uh, gr but if we're going to add role uh, differentiation we'll have a different statement for each scope group so go back to the user attributes and claims back to the documentation we will copy this value add new claim and here we'll do the same for any user of these groups with the attribute aruba central like this make sure that's all right and then click save again now we will need to add a role for the Aruba Central platform. So this will, will, will begin with the admin role. Add new claim. Claim condition will be any user of the group admin with an attribute of admin. Click on save. You can get more specific uh, with these attributes and we will do that a little bit later on but based on this our single sign-on should already work now that we have our claims over here uh, we're basically done for testing and if you want to test with SAML authentication it might be handy to download the SAML tracer extension so if you click on add to Chrome add extension 
and now we have just added the extension. There's just one thing that you'll need to do. Go to the extension panel and head over to details and click on allow in incognito. Because if we were gonna test uh, SAML authentication, it's always handy to clear your cache and cookies for uh, renewal authentications. So now that we're done with that, uh, head over to this and go incognito. Go to portal.central.rubanetworks.com, change our pod to the US2, and we will log in to a central at stbranch.nl. And by now we have to redirect, so that part is already working. It's also good to add this screen as well for the SAML tracer. see which information is being sent yes and now it's loading over here we can already check out the SAML attributes being sent down to Aruba Central and here sure enough you can see that we have successfully built the SAML authentication and integration with Central and Azure X directory if I go to global settings and then to users and roles you'll see that we have the central at sd branch user in the user uh, in the user directory but as a federated user and here you'll see the different types of saml attributes uh, the ones that we've just added onto the uh, claims and now it's time to make it more granular so we will now add the read-only stuff as well so close that screen we'll close this window and head back over to the role information because as of now we only have this one group the admin group with the value of admin over here uh, but we will also create another condition saying that the help desk users should have an attribute of read-only. Click on save. We'll open up a con incognito screen again. The SAML tracer. Oh, Portal.central.rubanetworks.com. Select the US2 pod and fill in our credentials. stbranch.nl you're redirected yep and over here we see the SAML stuff as well and now with the read only attribute value and sure enough we are authenticated and now if I go to the user enroll tab you'll see that the help desk, help desk at stbranch.nl only has a read-only role and now it's time to do the role differentiation that we talked about that the help desk user only has access to uh, the EMEA group and the APEC group as well so we'll close the screen again this as well head over to the stbranch enterprise application and then click on Aruba Central We'll head over to the single sign-on and then the claims and attributes. To provide more granular access, we'll, we'll add this attribute. And by default, if we do not provide this attribute from the claims, the user will have access to all groups. So this will only be applicable for the help desk group. Add new claim, copy this attribute, and then select the users of the group help desk. Click on select attributes and now we will add the uh, groups EMEA and APEC and we'll do that in the following way EMEA comma APEC click on here and it's important to note that over here it's between brackets uh, but that that will result in an error so we'll do it like this and click on save 
we'll open up a screen again portal.centralarubanetworks.com open up our SAML tracer as well click on US2 and we will authenticate again with the help desk at scbranch.nl account So over here, if we go to the SAML attributes, you see that we have the groups EMEA and APEC. And we have a successful authentication on Aruba Central. And you can already see that the screen is a little bit different. We only have the APEC and the EMEA groups attached to this user account. Click on global settings. And sure enough, we only have these two groups where first the other uh, user had the US group as well. And you can see the change reflected in here as well because we only have these allowed groups. So to top this off, we have the ability to create another role for uh, this speci specific help desk account as well. So if we would go to my HPE session, I will go to the roles and create a new role for our help desk team we'll called help desk. And we will state that the help desk will have no access to our subscriptions, device inventory, or key management. So we'll just block that information out. Click on save. And note that there are no assigned users to this particular role. To provide role information, if we click over here, we will just need to change this attribute from read only to help desk. So I'll close this screen and if we go to the attribute that we've already provided, so instead of read only, we'll provide help desk over here. Click on that and save, open up a new screen. And now if we add the help desk at SD branch, no user click on continue clear the screen for a second we have the SAML attributes over here with the role help desk over central is loading And if we go to the global settings, we don't see the subscriptions anymore. If we go to users and roles, we also have a different role now. If we click on the roles, you will also see that um, this particular uh, help desk user has been assigned to the help desk role as well. So this concludes the video of setting up Azure Active Directory single sign-on with Aruba Central. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you like this video.